Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Bowen Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to share with you how you can export the attributes information of your ship files to AutoCAD. So we have um, the boundary ship file of um, Nigeria here. Yeah? Let's say the administrative boundary or something, right? Good. Now on our attribute table, we have different fields that shows or let's say that gives them um, different information about that ship file. And one of the fields that is very important is this um, name underscore one, right? Good. That shows the names of the different states in Nigeria, as you can see, right? Good. Now, what we want to show to you is that how do you export this particular ship file that it can contain at least one or let's say any preferred field that you want so that it doesn't appear like um, good. Now, so that it doesn't appear like this. So when we exported this, this is just by randomly coming down to QGIS, you right click, then you go to export, you go to save feature as right. Then under the save um, vector layer as you select AutoCAD DXF, you specify the file name, the CRS, then the symbology, you can decide to change it to line string or you leave it as automatic, and then you click on OK. So when you do that, which is let's say the conventional, you will get an AutoCAD file that is exported as this, right? Good. Now, this particular export, when we come down to the layers, we can only find one layer, which is the default um, zero, right? Good. Which shows that this particular um, AutoCAD file was exported without making, maybe paying attention or without exporting it with any of the attribute information. However, what we want to consider on today's video is for you to be able to export this shape file. Okay, let's put this out so that it doesn't get too close. Now, for us to export this particular shape file and then having any of these fields, and we are interested with what name underscore one. So, thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage you by subscribing. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for always checking up on us. So for us to do that, we come down to projects, we go to import slash export, then we come down to export project to DXF. Now, when this um, DXF export window comes up, that's where we are going to make um, a few modifications. The first thing we are going to consider is the, the file name. So we just click on browse. Good. So we have a folder ship file with labels to card. So let's call this um, SSS or something, or let's say distribute SS2. Then you can see the file type automatically DXF, so you click on save. Now, there are a few things you need to pay attention to here. Yeah? You can see that we just have one vector layer on a layer panel, and that is this vector layer. It has been selected. So if you have more than one, you can use the select all button and you can use the deselect all to maybe deselect everything and you start selecting them one after the other. Then we have um, export labels as um, mtext element. You know, on AutoCAD, we have that um, particular um, mtext um, command which we use to type, right? We use that command to type text, multiple text, right? Multi-line text. Now you scroll down to this point to see where you can find output layer attributes now what this output layer attributes um, means is that let's say we are working with this particular layer let's scroll down to this point we click on this output layer attributes and then we look at this drop down now under this drop down you can see those fields that are on our attribute table let's come back to our attribute table somewhere there good when you look at this um, attribute, um, when you look at this drop down, you can see that the attribute um, fields that we have on our attributes table are what we already have here. So, what it indicates is that 
it is requesting us which of the fields are we exporting with our DXF file. Which of these fields are we trying to export with our DXF file? So as we said earlier, we are interested with what name underscore one. So we are going to select what name underscore one. So, so let's uh, minimize. Good. So we've actually indicated the field on this particular um, layer of um, vector, on this vector layer that we want to export to what? To DXF. Are we together? Now, this is the, let's see, the crux of today's video. Because on a normal day, when you export it, let's say, by default, even through this method, you can just export without paying attention to this um, output layer attribute. You can just export and then it will go off. But when you pay attention to this, it gives you the ability to select which of the attribute field that you want to export with what, with your AutoCAD. Hope we are together. Good. So when you've selected that, I believe every other settings should be um, by default. Okay, symbology just um, if you are so much interested, you can change it to either feature or symbol, uh, symbol layer, symbology, or you can leave it at that. Then the symbology scale should be okay. Then the CRS, because we are working on um, double zones, we would just leave it at um, WGS84, um, right? Good, that's um, the geographic. So if you're working in um, a particular area that um, is enclosed in a particular zone, you can specify your zone here. Yeah. So I haven't selected all of these. We can just click on what's okay. Good. The XF export completed, right? So we are going to assess it on a folder and then open it up on AutoCAD, right? Good. We can see SS2 here. Then let's open it there. Good. So we have our DXL file open. Just um, escape to some extent. Good. Now we can decide to change the color of those our lines. Let's um, select all. Come down to the attributes, then the properties rather. Come down to the colors and then make this white, right? Good. So that's okay with me for now. So what we want to confirm is if this particular DXL file has those attributes or that attribute field that we have exported with it. So we come down to the layer panel. We come down to the layers, right? Good. Sorry, we are mixing card and JS. So we come down to the layers, and you can see that those fields, um, the attributes of that particular field, which is the name underscore one, which we exported from QGIS, is now on AutoCAD. Unlike the first one, which was exported without paying attention to what to the um, to the field, you can see under the layers we just have what the default um, zero layer, which shows just everything together. However, on this one, which we specifically um, exported that particular field, we can see um, the fields that we exported, the attributes of that field that we exported on what on our layers here, yeah, right? But so with this, you can decide to continue with whatever process or whatever um, whatever modification you want to carry out. And you know, most of them are together as um, polygons. So you can see them, maybe when you select one, you can see the polygons are selected and then with this. But since they are on geographic, you might not really get the the linear properties like the area or maybe the length. However, you can still move with it um, or maybe work with it as you want to work with it. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution to this particular solving problem. We are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.